For this video, we're looking at the least common multiple, otherwise known as the LCM. So we're asked to find the least common multiple of two numbers, two and three in this case. So they gave us some small numbers, but the process, there's a couple of different methods that we could use, but especially since they gave us some relatively small numbers, the most frequent way of doing it would be to actually list out the multiples and then try to find out which is the smallest one that they have in common. So let's start off with two and let's list out its multiples. So two. If I'm listing the multiples, that means I just start multiplying two by, well, let's start with one. Two times one is two. Two times two is four. Two times three is six. Two times four is eight. Two times five is 10. We could keep going. Let's do one more. Two times six is 12. And this list, we could go on as long as we wanted to. We're just listing all the multiples of two. And then we're gonna do the same thing for three. And we start at the same place. We start off multiplying by one. Three times one is three. Three times two is six. Three times three is nine. Three times four is 12. Three times five is 15. Three times six is 18. And again, as you can see, we could keep going for as long as we have patience and list out these multiples. So I have listed all of the, well, not all of, I've listed several multiples of each one for two and for three. I want to find the least one that they have in common, the smallest one that they have in common. So if I'm looking at these and I'm looking for some common factors, I see six is common to both of these. I see so far that 12 is common to both of these. And if we were to keep going, we would find even more common factors. But we're only interested in the least common factor. So the one that is the smallest that they have in common is this one, six. That is our LCM for two and three.